Still talking elections in Edo State, the All Progressive Congress APC chapter there yesterday inaugurated its campaign council for the September 21 governorship election. Inaugurating the council, the chairman and former governor Adam Soshomole, the senator representing Edo North, said every member and supporter of the APC is a member of the council for genuine change under the leadership of Senator Monday Okebolo. He noted, he said titles do not matter and urged every member of the party in the state to work hard to win their units and wards, adding that every member is a canvasser. He added if it requires him to take the role of a sweeper, he, will, he was ready to sweep Senator Mande Okbebolo into office as governor. To discuss uh, some of these developments from Edo State, we are joined by the Head External Communications and Deputy Director Publicity Committee of the Campaign Council, APC Edo State, Andrew Mwanta. Andrew, it's good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, good evening. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here again. What impact? And to our Muslim faithful and brothers, I say Baraka Salah. Indeed, Barka de Sala to our Muslim brothers and sisters. Now, what impact might Philip Schwab's support for Okpebolo have on governorship race in Edo State, considering his influence and political background? Yeah, thank you. Uh, as you know, he's still in court to reclaim a mandate which the governor illegally took from him because his impeachment is still being challenged. And uh, Shaibu is still a strong force in the politics of our state. And remember, too, that it is because of his aspiration that the governor decided to commence a process, which, of course, the court will later declare as uh, illegal, of removing him from office. Because if he was not a force, I don't think the governor would have forcefully ejected him from the government house and made the House of Assembly in a very unceremonious and unconstitutional manner remove him from office. But I think his decision to support the APC candidate is very clear because that is a candidate that Edo people have embraced. He's seen as a homeboy. And, uh, you know, just as you noted, the campaign council of the APC has been inaugurated. And to support what we are doing, the, 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 the uh, Balto deputy governor donated 12 purpose-built campaign trucks that we have been using in the entire state for the past how many days to campaign. And well, how does that play out? How does that plan. play out, really, Andrew? Uh, because he's a PDP member, and he's endorsing um, an APC candidate for the election. Would this affect maybe his political... Or I should rephrase that. How would this affect his political future in the state? Thank you. Just as I was saying, these vehicles were vehicles that the PDP used in the last year's election, though the PDP lost that election woefully. But taking away the win from the sale means that PDP's performance will diminish as the campaign commences because these vehicles are purpose-built for campaign. So how will PDP go about their campaigns if what they have always used have been given to the APC to strengthen the party by no less a person than the deputy governor? And besides, you have over 30 Siena vehicles that have been branded Okay, by, I understand you, know, uh, you talking Shredder. about what so he has. Strength, Andrew. strength is adding to the party and to the campaign of the APC. And that's the point uh, I'm trying to make. Yeah, yes, you, 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 you've, I'm writing on the point office. you are making. I'm writing on the point you are making, that he is providing vehicles for your election. And now you're adding to the fact that it used to be vehicles that was used for PDP. So I'm asking you, how is this going to affect his political future? You are a member of another party and you're supporting another candidate. Is it the governor that will determine, um, make, because the statement that was in the news was the governor said anybody can support who they want to support. How does that really play out, really, for the layman the, who doesn't understand the interest? It did not start today. The point I'm making is it does not start today. In 2023, the governor supported Labour Party. I'm aware even the governor offered me the Labour Party ticket, so it didn't start with China. It is, this is but not... I, I want, Andrew, I, I'm sorry so I keep interjecting. 
Andrew, I'm sorry I keep interjecting. It is not just the governor that is watching. It is not just the governor that you are playing for. You are playing for the people. I'm asking you as a respectable party, how will this, you are a candidate of the APC, for instance, what would your national body say if you up today and say you're going to support the PDP, the PDP for an election? I'm just asking you as a layman. It's a, it's a matter of personal choice. A situation where you have a candidate that is unsellable, you have a candidate that does not have a voter's card, the present candidate of the PTP does not have a voter's card. So you don't force people to do what they don't want to do. The deputy governor was being humiliated. What did the PDP do? He has a right to freedom of association. He has been excommunicated from the PDP, right? He was not treated well, and he has a right to support whoever he wants to support in the election. The constitution gives him that right. And it's really up to, there's no PDP again in those states. In my local government, for instance, the entire ESCO moved into the APC. The entire party ESCO in my local government. If we say all oh, politics is local, does PDP exist again in those states? It is in name PDP exists. Virtually all the party members, the candidate of the PDP in our one East, today joined us in the APC. The, the campaign director of Aswa Igodalo joined us today in the APC. So what are we not saying here? We are not telling ourselves the truth. Tribal is just one out of many. The PDP candidate contested against nine persons. None of them are with him. They are all supporting the APC candidates. And that's so, politics. So what, okay, it's it is politics, but in the, in, the, in the legal parlance and for the ordinary citizen who supports either APC or PDP, what would be the ideal thing to do? If you choose to support one party, wouldn't it make sense for you to relinquish your membership of one party and move on to the other? My own question is, did Obaseki relinquish his membership of PDP last year when he supported the Labour Party? So I think it started with the governor. All the uh, Labour Party candidates were picked from the House of Assembly in government house. I'm aware. I was offered the ticket of the Labour Party. So if that becomes a trend, so why will anybody complain now? It was a trend last year. So what has changed? All right. Uh, so let's, let's move on now and ask you what the... Certain steps. Um, because what it the is an potential which of course has been accepted as a norm in the PDP. So it is for us to be happy. As an APC member, do you expect me to be sad? I'll be happy. Because we have people from the opposition, I mean the ruling party, of course, which is a sinking ship, support our candidates, support All our right. party. Let, let's, be very grateful. Let, let's ask you about other things. Um, Andrew, Andrew, let's and ask you politics in those things. All right, let's ask you other questions then. How might the involvement of high-profile figures like Adam Soshomale impact the effectiveness of the APC Campaign Council and the overall election strategy for September 2021? Yeah, thank you. Remember, Oshomala was a governor who performed very well as governor of Edo State, and before that time, he had served very well as president of the Nigerian Labour Congress. And you know, recently, uh, people started saying, wow, the NLC has banged back to the, bounced back to the Oshomole days. He did very well in that capacity. As governor of Edo State, during his time, he built drainages across all the major roads. We had walkways. But as we speak, we have a government in Edo State that will build roads first, and two years later, they will build drainages. In GRA, as we speak, the governor is blocking all the roads, constructing gutters in roads he completed over a year ago. So what we have is a system where the governor who took over from Oshomole refused to deal with the erosion problem. And I think the world of experience of Comrade Adams Oshomole will be very handy for this incoming government of the APC in Edo State. And it is Oshomole's performance that we are using as our barometer for campaigning. Namely, the university he built in Iyamo, the only functional hospital we have, which of course is a secondary you know, health facility, is the one built by Comrade Adams Oshomole. And I think we will be campaigning using that as a leverage there are many other things he did as we talk of the Red Roof Revolution. We have this government, you mentioned this exam and practice thing. It never happened in the history of our state that the exam questions will be leaked by those in government. If it's the same government, then the permanent secretary or the commissioner should be sacked. The All situation right. where a counselor saw exam questions for an exam that was to be done on Friday and they, they apologized. I don't think that apology is acceptable. The permanent secretary should then resign or be sacked. The public examination because you want to boost the rep of public schools, you leak examination questions to public school teachers to prepare their students. What kind of future are you preparing for Edo people? So that's why we are saying we want to revive Edo states. 
My candidate has a five-point agenda. And if I have the time, I'll just run through. Uh, well, I'm afraid we really don't have that party. much time, Andrew. And environment we... accessible and affordable, affordable health care. Andrew, and we don't have that pressure. much time. I must interject again, Andrew. Thank you very much for speaking uh, with us.